Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2000. Alongside me, Charlie Clegg, and we're underway here. Oh! First point goes the way of the Pines. Roy Ching on the service line. Great block by Giles Black. Very aware there as the setter goes up to dump. Ching back at the service line again. Great swing there by Tom Hayes from Harbour. Great side out. Good pass, great set. Pulled a mortar on it to serve. Black with the kill on the outside. So sorry folks, we just rushed through the intros a wee bit there, we're a bit short. So as I said earlier, Jake Darling myself alongside Charlie Clegg here will be your host for this evening's men's final here at the Bruce Pullman Arena. Oh yeah. Peterson that is. So we're all tied up here to all. Early days. Johan Timmer with a huge serve. Big ace from Johan. Former graduate of the University of Hawaii. Was used very much as a serving specialist, so he's right at home here on the service line. And again, Johan with the service ace. Strong service. This is going to be a long night. It's going to be a um, very long night, and I don't think anyone in the crowd will be complaining about that. Some great volleyball on display here, shown by both of these teams all week, earning their place in this final. Great swing. Oh, Benjamin Glue 
The New Zealand men's team captain on the D side with the kill. You'll need to have plenty more of those if Pines are to get the W here tonight. This evening, I should say, at the earliest start time today, as opposed to years of, of a bygone era. Oh. And Tom Hayes replies with his own D side swing. So Harbour pulling away here to an early lead, 5-3. McCormick to serve. And Black on the outside. This is side out volleyball. Uh, this sort of high level volleyball, we can expect that. Very much so. It's very entertaining, but it can also be very boring when both teams are siding out so well. Great pass. Ching, getting a wee stop there from Alani Nicklin. Nicklin and Hayes out there on the D side block. They certainly would have targeted Roy as the Pines marquee man, their go-to. I've been paying him a lot of attention in their video analysis today, I would imagine. Hey. Referee on the stand there, Henry, calling a net touch by the looks of Raiders now up by three. It's an early lead. Good swing by Tom Hayes. Very fast ball to the outside. Nice. Now Raiders with a net touch of their own. Maybe trying to do a little bit too much with Ching out there on the outside. Trying to reach over too far perhaps. You never know. Peterson on the line. That's a so many strike weapons out there, highlighted by the fact you've got Tom Hardles, number 13, the libero, a New Zealand men's team pass a hitter playing libero. They are that spoiled for choice when it comes to pass a hitters. And Rob Tar there putting that one into the net, so a bit of pressure relief here for the Pines. Pat Schoen, a former New Zealand men's team captain, long time New Zealand men's team member. There's a lot of power on the outside from Johan Simmer. Very powerful swing by Johan. Feel he'll be having a very busy night tonight as well. Float serve for Milani. Oh, and Nicklin puts that one into the net too. So a couple of service errors here from Harbour, just giving Pines a little bit of a sniff here at clawing it back. But still the two-point buffer remains. Ching to the service line. A lot of tops in there. Great serve from Paul. Ooh, and just Hayes out. puts that one out. They've clawed another one back. Down by one. So this is a fairly strong rotation here for Pines. I want to keep Roy on the service line as long as they can. Strong front court. Good touch. Oh. Oh, that one just drifting out. Big swing from Tom Hayes. Couple of very... Finding some hands. Very much so finding some hands there. Moranga putting that one into the net. So that's three in a row now for Harbour. So Pines are just sticking with it at the moment. 
clawing it back on that service line. Lenny Matiati to serve. Great float serve. Oh. Looked like the set was a bit low there for Nick to... Yes, you're a set yourself, Charlie, so I'll look to your expert commentary on that. <laughs> yeah, Perhaps. Set, set, maybe, maybe Nick jumped too high. <laughs> This inside. Oh, Timon. And we have a timeout call by Harbour. They're not happy with how things are going so far. So Pines take the early lead, 11 10. to it ladies and gentlemen pines up just by the one solitary point so it's anyone set from here Tom Hayes again with the deep swing not a lot you can do about that that's hitting a very high swing fine in the corner it's a coach's dream swing that Speaking of coaches, the two coaches here. Not sure if you can see them from your pictures, but on the Pine side here, we have Colin Redpath, who up until earlier this year was the New Zealand men's team head coach. Raiders very much struggling from that service line. Not helping themselves. Coach for the Harbour Raiders, Rhys Van Stiprian. Obviously, defending national champion coach with the Raiders taking out the 2017 version of this tournament. Down in Wellington last year. Flight serve by Nick McCormick. Wow. Cheng. Back row attack, huge swing. So we're going to see a lot more of your unconventional attacks here, being the the back courts, the three Ds. A couple of very well drilled teams here, with some very well drilled athletes within them. Touch oh. by Valibut there, just not quite getting it around far enough. So yes, I could go on about the number of New Zealand representatives we have out here, but would be here all night, folks, because I can say just about every single player out in the court has played for New Zealand. Certainly on the Pines side, every single player has played for New Zealand at some point, uh, with this year's versions being Benjamin Glue, number five, as the captain, number eight, Luca Valibut, was also a member of the side. And as we see there again, Harbour putting that serve into the net. So, not sure what they put in the water down at the motel this morning, but certainly not helping their service game today. Big, Big block one. there by Lenny Maiati. He gets out fast and he reaches right over the net. Very Meets tall man. Ball. Absolutely. Very tall man. He's hard to stop. Oh. Rob Tar there on the outside just finding his way through that block. But... That's some good out of system volleyball there. Some very good out of system. When we say out of system, for those who may not be aware, it's when it's a bit helter skelter, when it's not quite going for you, when the pass is off the net, or it's a, the setter doesn't have the second ball in his hands, it's that transition ball 
So getting that ball back when it's not quite what the textbook wrote. That's nice. Ooh. That's a uh, backcourt violation by Ben Blue. So he must have stepped over the line when he hit that ball. Yep. For those of you that might not know, that three metre line is where the back row players can attack from. Roy That's Ching rising up there. Crushing that one just outside the three metre line by the looks of it from here. So neither team able to really pull away at this early stage. Pines with a two point lead. That one's going a bit long, so near yeah, as Charlie said. Pines now take a two-point lead. Pat shown at the service line. Oh, Benjamin yeah. Glue. He's excited about that. Very happy with himself. It's getting towards the business end of the set where Setters start going to their uh, on-fire players, their players that kill the ball the most often. So Johan's been set the last two times. Uh, will he get set again? He doesn't have a short of options out there though, does he, Charlie? No, oh, he's not. He's not oh. short of options there. And then Johan getting up on that one. Let's see if there's any change in their service quality, we should call it. Nick Clint. To serve. When players start missing serves, they take a little off and start getting the ball in. Yeah, it might be a bit of a case. Henry up there on the first referee. Feeling like that one was touched by Marty there in the middle. So, now back to just a one point advantage for Pines. Raiders have picked one back. Can they pick another? They pass by Luca. Great swing. Uh, blow on the outside. Great set by Pat Schoen. So that ball didn't even reach the top of the aerial going across the net, which is a very, very fast set. It's hard for the middle blockers to get all the way out. Big swing by Roy Ching on the service line. tuning in I hope you got the popcorn and the coca-cola because she's going to be a long evening with points like that Giles Black finding the deep corner deep corner great swing Giles a former middle blocker and has somehow found his way into the pass ahead of position. Had a great week passing this week. Looks and like Johan's turned that one out. Yeah, perhaps a set not quite wide enough. Probably not quite wide enough, and he probably, probably ran in. 
not straight enough to hit that line. There you go, Lenny. And he's sending that one long too. So a few errors starting to creep in here. And that's enough for Coach Reese Van Stiprian to call his second time out now. So Pines pulling away a little bit here. Three points away. 18. And as Charlie's just said, three points away from claiming the first set of this final. And that first rung towards taking out this national title. Every set's going to be very well earned here tonight, so neither team's going to really be that keen to give a set away, or even a point away for that matter. Definitely. Very high floats here. Oh. Didn't quite make the net. <laughs> Didn't quite make the net. No, you don't like those ones. No. And that'll be a... You always love those ones as an opposi opposition coach when you call a timeout and the other team misses the serve coming out of timeout. It's the only sort of one of the ways you can draw back a point as a coach. Timid a serve. The Raiders definitely need summon. It's a matter of where it's going to come from. Oh, there's a net oh. touch. <laughs> there's a very big net touch. Oh, by Giles Black. Giles Black perhaps just overrunning that set a little bit and just getting himself caught up. And oh. Trying to be quite aggressive. Coach Colin Redpath returns fire with a time out of his own. Raiders have brought it back to two. Couple of points there out of that timeout. He just wasn't quite happy with how things were playing out, so he said, let's have a quick chat and let's regroup and let's just finish the set off. I'm going to see There's a lot of revolutions on that ball. Oh, oh Ching from the back court. Might as well be hitting from the front court. He's hitting it that high and hard. Very difficult to stop. And with Ben Glue on the D side and Giles Black on the outside, it must be a nightmare for the blockers. Cormac sending that one long. So when we're talking about Giles Black being a former middle turn passer hitter, Nick McCormick's gone the other way from passer hitter through to the middle. So tale of two stories there. Oh, smart play by Rob Tarr. Rob Tarr just wiping it off the hands of Pat Schoen. In the industry a tool, I believe, Charlie. Great set by Pat Schoen. Oh. And that's got him. Nelson Pines take the first set, 25-21. So first blood to the Pines. Let's see how Harbour respond.
about to commence proceedings here in the second set. It was 2018 New Zealand Club Championship Final. For those of you just joining us also, we, prior to this final, had the women's final between the Shirley Silverbacks and Tauranga Woman. Put on a woman taking the spoils three sets to one. So, congratulations goes out to Todonga and condolences to Shirley Silverbacks. Back with an early lead to Pines, 1 0. Roy Ching to serve. Um, big swing from Alani Nicklin. Yeah, just finding a bit of a hole in my east block there to play with and not quite sealing the net there so. Treat himself to a serve now. Oh, Maya'i responds with a kill of his own. So a lot of individual battles going out there with the middles going at each other. Ben Glue and Tom Hayes having their own little wee battle out there as the opposite. So there's battles all around. It's just going to be a matter of who concedes. Pass by Rota. And another great swing from Tom Hayes. Tom Hayes picking out the middle blocker there on the down the line there in the five position. And Polder Moronga sending that one long. Giles Black, one on one on the outside block, gets Johan there. So that's a little wee battle that'll be interesting to watch for the remainder of this game, just how that plays out. Oh, Tom Hayes there, rising up and putting that one away. That's great side out volleyball. Great pass, great set, great swing. Pretty to watch. Great swing. Good touch by Pole. Big scramble there from Harbour. Managed to get it over. Benjamin Glue. The craftsman knows how to find a kill. It's not always pretty, but it works. A little smile there from him. He knows that wasn't his best swing, but it still got the result, and that's all that matters. for Harbour, what can they do with it? That's what they can do with it. Timmer from the back row. Jeez, I've just got offensive weapons all over the court here. And Nani Nicklin checking back in. Checking back in for a shift in the back court, in the front court. Apologies. That's a very fast outside ball. The aim of those fast outside balls is to try and catch the middle blocker 
basically if it's too fast to the outside, the middle blocker has little to no hope of getting out to that block. So you're leaving yourself with a one-on-one -on -one with a lot more court to find yourself around. Oh, Nicklin. Alani, a very renowned beach player. Just got back from the Asian tour, going fifth. That's right, playing with the libero there, I believe, Tom Hartles, number 13. So, got a wee connection out there. And rises up. That pass just a little bit too long and... Getting a little bit lucky with the net roll. But Marnie, I'm yeah. sure he'll take it all day. Oh, a point's a point, Charlie. It is, it is. You of all people should know that. <laughs> <laughs> Jump serve, Tom Hayes. Oh. Drill. Be about it. Oh, yeah. They're letting him know about it, too. Plenty of wheat picks on that one. That's a lovely set. Rob Hard down it. the line. Pat Schoen trying to get anything he can behind that one, but perhaps if we didn't have the stands to the left hand side of the court here, that may have been chased down, but that's irrelevant. Oh, Rob Tar sending that one long, so. Arborator serving woes continue here somewhat. Let's see if, how costly that'll be for them in the long run. Great set there by Moronga. Leaving Nicklin plenty of court there. Again. My RE now his turn. So the middles are making themselves very present here in this final. And that's as a result of some great passing, giving both setters plenty of options through the front court. It's definitely a testament to both of these teams using the middle. Pass great all week, which means that the setter doesn't have to work too hard to get it to the middle. That looks like a good pick. Oh, Ooh. Ching with the tip, showing all the tricks in his arsenal. Just while we've got a moment here, can also talk about Roy Ching, a player who may not be familiar with too many people here in New Zealand in the recent past anyway, uh, former product of Wamea College in Nelson, but uh, also did five years at Brandon University in Canada, followed by a professional season with Lundberg in Germany, so really well travelled. Oh, Moranga putting that one long, so some real issues for Harbour here on the service line. They'll really need to look to remedy those if there are any chance of winning this final. <laughs> Hayes just finding the outside of that block. That's the second time Giles Black has got him on the D side. Johan Timmer. Yeah, Giles Black, I think. Once a middle, always a middle, and he's certainly showing his middle blocker prowess there on that outside block. Making a lot of touches, making it difficult for Johan Timmer to really score points and make his mark on the match. Oh, Benjamin Glue. If I had a dollar every time I saw that swing, I'd be a very wealthy man, Charlie. That's 
Vintage being blue. That's a uh, that's a combination we've seen for years. Patrick Schoen and being blue. Yeah. It's like Bonnie and Clyde. Good swing by Giles Bay. Oh, it's a tip by Rob Tar, but it's up. Oh, oh Roy Chang with a great save there. Ooh. Johan Timmer. Jeez, that's some exciting volleyball, I tell you what. Never serious, and then be a very different story. And that's some commentator's curse. If you're watching this afterwards, Nick, I do apologise. But not really. That's a good side out from Harbour. Side out game is what's keeping them in this contest. Yeah, referee Henry just having a quiet word here too. Johan Timmer. Not 100 percent sure what it's about. Might be a bit of chirp through the net. Might be a bit of chirp through the net perhaps. Maybe. Wouldn't hurt. All in good spirits though, obviously. Oh wow. Great save from Pat Schoen. Oh, and that looks long from Tom Hayes. Tom Hayes just not quite connecting with that one, sending it long. And that's a big point for Pines to win. Good hustle from Pat Schoen. Ah. Timmer being called over for another word here with Henry. Might be some poor language perhaps. Charlie, anything you're seeing out there that maybe, oh, and he's pulled out a yellow card even, so. I'm sure what that stemmed from. I think he might have been a little bit unhappy with, with his swing. Bit of an outburst perhaps. Maybe. Let's see how, what effect that has on. Great hustle here from Pines. Good ball in by Tom Hayes. And a back row attack by Johansson. Great swing. So for those at home, a yellow card um, essentially means that now they've had their warning, so the team, the next time they get a yellow card, they'll get a red card, and that'll mean that they lose a point. So just a point, isn't it? It is. Not it too is. familiar with the official rules. I've never had to deal with... Oh, that one's hit the floor. So first service ace here for Raiders. Coming from the arm of Rob Tarr. The American expat. Now calling the north shore of Auckland home. that one out off the block. Jeez, I feel like they're just ripping through the rotations here. This side out volleyball. You think a lot of serves in per set. A lot of rotations in. It's definitely been point for point since since the start of the match. There's not been really any huge runs. I think the biggest has been three. Three points, no. maybe four points. Something you'd expect at this level of volleyball. Definitely for a final in New Zealand. 
That's a byline in there. And again, Glue finding his way. Able to beat that ball out off the block. there by Lenny for Pines so perhaps the serving woes have swung the other way we'll wait and see so Manaya Harris checking in for Tom Hayes this is Manaya also a former well still current New Zealand men's squad team member oh, Moranga with a service ace This goes to show the depth of this harbour side when they have a player of Manai Harris's calibre on the bench. Net touch there from the harbour, so a bit of a let off there for Pines. So these two teams faced on Thursday night with the Harbour Raiders winning three. No. So yeah. I can't imagine what the coach must be thinking, Reese. Uh, he must have gone with the same tactics. And they're currently down 1 0. So does he change tactics or does he stick with his guns and keep going? Absolutely. These are the big questions I guess you have to ask in an international final. As you mentioned, Arbor Raiders taking that earlier pool play game. Uh, three sets to nil. But as we all know, finals are a different beast and Pines are really showing their experience here and grinding through the second set. 18 apiece. Plenty of experience here on both sides. Obviously, Harbour Raiders winning the 2017 national title. Oh, big block there. Simon Peterson. Taking flight. A huge block. Is that going to give them a bit of a shot in the arm? Give them a couple of extra points here. It's always a big morale booster, a one-on-one -on -one block. Definitely. Must be quite deflating as well for Harbour Raiders. A little bit of uncertainty there. Let's see if Raiders can... Uh, they can indeed. Rob Tarr on the outside. Fine in hands. Big hands too, Roy Ching. Having a bit of a stoppage in play here, but a sweat on the court. Showing both sides there. Doing the mahi. So 19 all. Great pass by Luke Bellabit. Ching just not quite finding his range there. Cutting it just on his side of the net. Looks like Nick McCormick wants to get his next serve in quite quickly. Get back to the line. Oh, and he's made a great pick. Good dig too. And another big uh, swing from Rob Tarr. Rob Tarr. Nick McCormick, he's not a very animated man, but he certainly was after that dig. He liked what he saw. 21-19 to Harbour Raiders.
going back to serve. Raiders with the two-point advantage. Can they press on here and tie us all up at one set all? We'll wait and see. That's a great swing by Pat Schoen. The Raiders just not quite tidying up that ball. And Pat Schoen didn't need a second invitation. As a setter, he doesn't really get to hit much. So it's um, no. so it must be quite exciting. I've seen you swing on a few balls, Jazz, and gee whiz, it's a thing of beauty. <laughs> So, Manaya Harris to serve. Great swing by Roy Chin. Pat Schoen setting that ball right off the tape. Top of the net. Showing his experience. Drawing in that middle blocker and giving Roy Chin Nice easy block on the outside. So, second referee there, Tim Hulls, deeming that ball to have travelled on the pine side of the aerials. So, meaning the ball is essentially out and it's Pines point. Rob Tarr. Back to serve. He's had a strong set here. Let's see if he can finish it off with a couple of strong serves here. through the middle so the middles are very prominent here for both sides and red path Colin red path that is the coach for Nelson Pines calls a timeout it's a bit of a breather must side out point here for them so he's probably going to formulate something here probably involving Roy Ching you'd imagine yeah you can definitely imagine that that or Ben Glue couple of go-tos at the moment but hey let's not count out a middle attack you, you can't in this uh, in this game with the not with the passing as good as it is at the moment is it it's, uh, it's definitely a, a hard thing to I guess pass up <laughs> yeah absolutely Raiders seem to have picked up their service game here so it may be getting a bit more difficult for the Nelson Pine to run their middle attack but a couple of strong passes there, and Luca Velibit and Roy Ching. I wonder if they'll pick on Luca Velibit again. He does. He does. Oh, but he's eating it up. Oh, good pick. Ching finding his way through that block. So 24-23. So Nelson again needing to hold this serve to keep the set alive. And Roy Ching to serve. So. Time for a side out for North Harbour. Exactly all Harbour will be looking to do here. Just get a good pass up. We've got all the offensive. Uh, smart coaching play there by Reese. Putting the server, freezing the server as they call it. Giving him a time out to think about his serve. Player of Roy. them too much but do what you can to try and upset the rhythm it might just do just enough for the Harbour Raiders to yeah, get a good pass into Paul Demort on yeah so that he can distribute to probably to his go-to player right now which is Johan Simmer. 
call the last point. Let's see if it happens. Could have a career in this industry yet. Oh, it's, a, it it's an off-speed so. shot from Johan Timmer. And he's given them a chance. They've sure. got the ball back. Oh, there you go. Johan Timmer wins the set for North Harbour Raiders. There we go, folks. One set all. They'll be happy with that. They'll be very happy with that. They keep this final alive. But as I said earlier, she's going to be a long night. 25-23 in the second set. So at most three sets of volleyball more ahead of us. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. About to rip into this third set of the men's final. The two teams just fiddling each other out here. I think they're... Um ...is uh, working quite well. Yeah, it's... They're often going to the middle quite early on in the game, which is um, quite a common tactic, so that you can go to your outside hitters in the later stages of the game, and hopefully you get a get a split because the opposition middle's interested in blocking your middle. It's a great tactic, and certainly it has been employed by both teams here, with middles being very prominent. Let's see if it continues. Very exciting volleyball though, and I'm sure there's plenty more to come. One set all, nothing separating these sides at the moment. Certainly people are getting what they've paid for here, and let's hope it continues. So Roy Ching to get us back underway for the third set. Jump topspin, hit very hard. It's an off-speed shot by Johan Timmer down the line. And another uh, middle attack from Milano. Jeez, he's been good tonight. And they'll need him to continue being in his explosive best. Very big jump, Alani Nicklin. Remember, we were in a New Zealand training camp a couple of three years back now. And back then he was jumping. Oh, and comes up with the service ace. He's enjoying himself out there at the moment as Alani, and why not? What was he jumping? Meter 10 back in those days was Alani, and I'm sure it's no smaller than that, if not higher at the moment. Watching him on some of those middle attacks. Most of these athletes out here will be jumping between 80 to 80 centimeters to a meter, so. 
for Alani to be drinking a metre ten is... Yeah, he's certainly very much in the upper echelons of athletes in the New Zealand volleyball fraternity. Also very fit, did a very good yo-yo test in that same training camp. Porta Moranga to serve. Oh, oh, he's hit that, that halfway down the net. <laughs> that one almost went under the net. He's lucky. He's lucky that one didn't slide under the net. And it's pants down moment. Hans Zimmer. That one off the head of Peterson. That's hit the roof in the arena here. And let me tell you. that swing. Yeah, and someone to see. Probably not one of his hardest serves, but definitely accurate. Oh. Great swing by Rob Tarr on the outside there. So I feel like Harbin now are just finding their groove here in this third set. Taking the early lead, 5-2. It definitely looks like they've started to... Oh, he switch it up. He's taken it away from Luca. Oh, wow. Uh, Timmer just taking a bit off that one. Sliding it through between the block there. But now really starting to settle into their work. 6-2 now. And they've got their tails up a wee bit here. So Pines will look to nip this service run in the bud. They don't want to keep Timmer on the line too much longer. Pat Schoen with the joust of the net. Great joust. Oh, oh and a perfect huge block. block. Giles, Giles Black, yeah. Simon Peterson. Two Put, middles. Putting a and there's no holes in that wall. That's structurally sound, that wall. Bears would be proud. Oh. And there's another block. Another Simon, one. Simon Peterson. Block party. And the Pines are invited. He's going off like a frog in a sock. <laughs> I was waiting for that one. All the superlatives. Oh, third time. Not a charm in this case for Pines. Not quite anyway. So, 7-4 now to Raiders. Nick McCormick to serve. Float serve. Oh, oh he gets mm. a dig on that one too. Great dig for a man with very short arms. McCormick also at that testing camp for the New Zealand men's team, as I alluded to earlier. has a very small wing. 15 to 20 centimetres shorter than his actual height. And they actually coined the phrase for him, T-Rex. Ching there, battering that one away and he's saying, boys, let's go. Saying, come on, lads, let's lift it here. Just one point now. The advantage for Raiders. Simon Peterson. Peterson with a great, great serve. deep serve, and Raiders can't do anything with that. That's a great serve from Simon. Not the fastest serve, but 
very deep and it was dropping so Tim was caught in two minds had to make a play and it just frazzled him a wee bit Simon Peterson back to serve serve on Tom Hartles great pass by Tom Ooh. as we see actually Overlooked it earlier in the set, but we've got a new middle in for Nelson Pines. So Lenny Ma'i takes a break, and Sean Maiva, new middle, number 12, you can see there for Pines. Very athletic middle, jumps very high, hits very hard. That ball's down. Black just getting beaten short there. Yorked himself on that one. Tom has a serve. Yeah, that looks long. And they sent that one long. So a bit of a let off for uh, Pines here. Nelson Pines, 8 9 down. Patrick shown to serve. Looking for a hold here. Oh, and that's a great pick by Patrick Schoen. Another great pick by Pat Schoen. And a huge triple block by Rob Tarr. Some excellent touches in that rally. No one willing to let that ball die. This is the national final after all. No need to conserve energy for tomorrow's games. This is it, folks. All or nothing. Nothing should I say. Prim and proper. Great serve. Oh, That's a there. huge block by Alani Nicklin. Jesus, he's some good blocking tonight from both sides. But Nicklin especially. Front court player on the beach. Showing his blocking prowess here tonight. Jump serve to come. Rob Tarr. Charles back with a great pass. And Rob Tarr just not quite getting that one through. He looks to have hit the tape and his team's played the ball again, so that's four hits. There's some energy, there'll be some tired bodies, energy sapping stuff out there at the moment. It's been a long week. It's been a very long week. These teams have already played six tough games of volleyball. And this seventh one in four days is not going to be easy. It's a lovely pick. And another, another huge back row attack from Roy Ching. But Alani Nicklin absolutely on fire here. Been saying his name a lot tonight will continue to do so if he's playing keeps playing the way he is at the moment. Having a stellar game as Alani. Best of 13 to 9. All throughout school and after school for much of his career in volleyball. So he's very, very used to being in the middle. Uh, so he switched with his middle hitter and blocked from the middle in that particular point and managed to get. Benjamin Glue. He's a very well established middle blocker was Polder back in his day. Still is a very profound middle blocker. But he's found himself right at home in the setting position. The 
Strickland back to serve again. Let's see what they can do from the service line. just extending their lead. As I said earlier, they're really winding into their work now. Pines are going to have to come up with something to stop this run. Great set from Baltimore, don't you? And that one just out. Great Blue watching that right to the floor. Wasn't going to let that one land in. So there's a free ball for... Free ball. Peterson with another middle block there. Geez, the middles have been good today. Lenny Matiai to serve. Oh, oh, he's rushed there. <laughs> he's very much rushed there. He'll have that one all over again yeah. if he could. Unfortunately, the fault rule doesn't apply in volleyball. He doesn't get another one, that's for sure. Maya'i there, substitution for Sean Maiva, who we saw earlier in the set, so perhaps Coach Redpath just wanting something a bit different from his middle, going back to his first set middles in Maya'i. Maybe just to give Lenny a break. Just a bit of a refresher, you think, perhaps? Maybe just a... It's tough work being a middle blocker. Oh, I can imagine. You have to think a lot, and especially with how high Polter Mooring is setting that ball. You have to wait for, wait for a long time before you can actually read and react and get out to the ball that, that Polter is setting. So maybe it's a good decision from Colin. Yeah, there's a lot of experience in that head of his. Obviously... Been a long time coach of the Nelson Pine, back to their first national title triumph in 2012. And they went on to win four consecutive titles from 2012 through to 2015. So, knows how to win a title, but he's got his work cut out from here. Just putting his hands in the cookie jar there a little bit, reaching on that one, interrupting Moranga in his setting, and you just can't do that when the ball's on your own side of the net. Oh, great save from Patrick Schoen. That swing from Roy Ching, just out on the sideline. That's long. Five points now, the advantage to North Harbour. And that's enough for Colin Redpath to call a timeout. Just to rally the troops. Imagine it be saying, not quite out of it yet. A lot of work to do. Very animated coaches, Colin. Had the privilege of being coached by him for a number of different teams over the years. Back to high school days at Waimea College. 
through to the New Zealand men's program. Very well respected in the volleyball fraternity and obviously as I said earlier very well experienced and very successful so we'll be drafting up something to get them out of this hole but it's going to have to happen pretty quickly. Nice swing from Wojcik. Patrick showing, just showing his experience there. Dumping that ball inside the three meter line. Number of best setter awards Patrick shown over the years as well as a number of MVP accolades. So he knows his way to a national title. Rob Tarr, geez, he's put on a shift tonight. He's definitely warmed into the game. He started slow, but has definitely built up some big momentum here. So, Harbour Raiders with a five point lead, 19 14. In the third, this to create an advantage. Manai Harris to serve. Good swing. He's caught. Charles Black on the way out. So Harbour have certainly sorted out their serving woes that crippled them in the first set to come back and really start punishing Pines here on the service line. Limiting Pines options offensively. Let's see what they do here. Roy Ching's going to have to do a lot more of that. Pines are going to have to be clawing back this game. Great serve from Pat Shane. Another great pass from Tom Hartles. Rob Tarr again. Barely been stopped tonight. Very good, Rob Tarr. He's going to carry them through. Let's see how he goes. Oh, and that's just long. Oh, another spell of commentators curse. I do apologise, Rob. Still a five point advantage, though. And again, it's Ching to serve. What can he do for points here? Sending that one long. So six points the advantage now. Oh, Nicklin. Oh. Man, it's a tag the tag the baseline. That's a picture perfect serve, landing just inside the baseline there. Not a lot you can do about that. Oh. Well, but he backs it up with a service error. He'll be happy with that though. He's, uh, he's got his team one point closer to the 25 mark. It'll take the set. Exactly, you take one and one. Johan Simmons swing just out. So Lenny Maiyai to serve again. Another float serve. That looked quite easy for Johan Simmons. Simmons just carving that one down. Minimal effort. But that's come as a result of the great pass forcing the Nelson middle blocker to hold on his middle and leaving an easy one-on-one -on -one swing on the outside for Johan. Porter Moringa serving for the set. Wow. Some 
great defence shown here. So it's like a free ball for Nelson Pines. They're going to want to capitalise this. It's like a tip from the backcourt. And there we have it, folks. Two sets to one. North Harbour take the ascendancy here. So they'll head into the fourth set. With a bit of wind in their sail. Knowing they're just 25 points away from back-to-back -back national titles. But Pines have been here before. This isn't their first rodeo, so they'll they'll dig deep and we'll be in for a cracker of a fourth set. We'll join you shortly. Back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, just about to get underway in the fourth set here. If you're just joining us, Harbour Raiders up two sets to one. So they take out this set, they take out the national title. That'll be very much in the forefront of their minds. Oh no, they work hard here for one set. Caving in and giving it to them. They'll have to earn it, won't they, Charlie? They will. They will. They've had a long season. The New Zealand volleyball season's probably four or five months long. Just so they won't want to. They won't want to give it up. Oh. And Too easy. Won't. It's a first point to Nelson Pines. They look pretty happy about it. I think they're they're going to try bring some energy. So important the energy side of things. When you're winning, you got to look like you're winning and feel like you're winning. Because it deflates the other team. This is a big swing on the outside by Johan Zimmer. Just off the block of Lenny Maiyaki. Alani to serve. Good cross court serve. Pass well by Goethe. And another big swing by Johan Zimmer. Zimmer bashing that one through the block. You really feel like Harbour, they're hungry for this. Let's see what Pine's reaction is. Just putting that one into the net. Yeah. 
Raiders again. Through Tom Hayes. Another big swing. And Paul to Mauranga. Back to the line. It was top spin. Great pass by Luca. Oh, they're going to touch. Great pick by Tom Hartles. Ching just rising up over the top of that one. Great swing. He's been a key part of this Pines offense tonight, and he's going to continue to have to carry them somewhat and be available. Ooh. Oh, and he's just taking too to, much off that. Just taking a little bit too much off that one. He has been serving tough all night, so I think the uh, Harbour Raiders would definitely would have been caught out by that serve if he'd had it had it gone in. Joe Hans Hammer swinging big on that serve. Raiders just winning the blocking battle at the moment. Getting a lot of touches up off the top of blocks. Giving themselves a nice easy recycle ball. Huge swing. Oh. It's a great set by Patrick Schoen. That's a net touch by Giles Black. It's all just going Harbour's way here a wee bit. They've worked a three point lead in the early stages of this set. So Pines will look to tick away at that over time. And that's a huge serve from Johan Zimmer. Uh, Luca just not quite getting right underneath that one. It's a very difficult serve to control. Uh, I don't envy passes at all, Charlie, that's for sure. Neither do I. <laughs> Into that, wound into oh. that one. And that is like a, a two hit from Patrick Schoen. It's all coming up Harbour at the moment. And it's a five point lead with a timeout called by Colin Redpath for the Nelson Pines. Give him a bit of a breather. Harbour just taking the ascendancy here at the moment. Just really wanting it a bit more, I think. and. Just really winning those, the little battles, the little one percenters. A little bit of a rub of the green as well, but you take that. That goes both ways. Definitely, you make your own luck. I think uh, I think that timeout was to slow Johan Timmer down. Certainly someone you don't want to be spending any more than necessary at the service line. The longer he stays there, it's going to be the harder your pretty job quickly. Will be. Exactly. That is a big swing again. Oh, great set from Pat Schoen there. One-handed. Knuckled it to the D side for Benjamin Glue. As I said, Charlie. Big swing. As a setter, I can imagine those sort of the sets that you dream of. Oh, I don't even know if you can dream of those sort of things. <laughs> hey, and that and looks like a net, net touch. touch by Benjamin Glue. 
So the discipline just letting Pines down here a wee bit. Always seems to be that you win the point on a net touch when you're committing it too. Bit like getting caught on a no ball in cricket. Oh, Lani Nicklin with a big touch on the block. Oh, oh just and Johan Timmers. Back row attack swinging just out. Perhaps just trying to do a little bit too much with that one. Very aggressive though. Which is what you like to see in an outside hitter. He's not taking anything off it. Ben Glue just under hitting that a little. He's well known for his short serving. Yeah, it seems that the serving pressure that was helping Pines through the first set is really holding them back at the moment. Ching trying to tip that one over the block, but Rob Tarr wasn't having a bar of it. He said, thanks for coming. And nice. threw that down with some authority. See you later. So Tom Hayes at the serving line. Oh, that's a freebie for Nelson. Looks like a quick sub for John Gibbs on for Patrick Schoen. So they're going to get Roy Ching to set in the front court. So that outside hitter. So you might know a little bit more about this, Jake, but Roy Ching used to be a setter. He did indeed. He was. Oh, just let this point play out and then I'll give you some insight there. Great swing from Simon Peterson, Peterson on the outside. Peterson going off the top there. Yes, Roy Ching, our former setter, was actually recruited to Canada as a setter, uh, but soon transitioned his way out of setting. Uh, played just about every rotation there is possible, every position apart from libero. So a very versatile player, but seems to be favouring his outside hitter position. And he's certainly been strong for there tonight for Pines. But he's just going to need to pick it up a wee bit more here if Pines are to push this game to a deciding fifth set. Harbour of uh, pushed out to a five-point lead, 12-7. Glue just sending that one long. Thirteen seven now. Rob Tata serve. Got Harry Ferguson in in the backcourt. Ching finding his way through that block. So Lenny Matiai checking back in. So a bit of a reshuffle here for Pines. So we've got. Simon Peterson now. And Ching. Getting caught by Polder Moronga. Big Polder Moronga. He's not like other setters. He's not. He's, uh, he's a beast of the net. He's getting his hands over. Cutting down space for those attackers to hit into. Just been a nuisance up of the net there, not letting Pines away. That looks like a two hit from Porter Morgan. So you see there, Polder Moldinger blocking through the middle and McCormick blocking the outside. Just trying to force a stop. That 
triples good from Tom Hayes. And another timeout for the Pines here. So it's, I feel like it's just slipping away from them a wee bit here. And it's going to have to be a, almost a matter of now or never for Pines if they're going to come back and back take the set. So a six point deficit halfway through this fourth set. It's, um, it's definitely going to take a couple of big holds. Probably, probably runs of twos or threes and they're serving just to get them back in this game. And that'll take quite a lot of effort, so I can't imagine what their bodies are feeling right now. They must be pretty tired, but... Yeah, they're certainly not spring chickens and Nelson Pines. No. They're, um... There's a fair amount of experience on that side of the net. Yes, but with experience does come age, unfortunately. But it's a Nationals final after all. And the adrenaline will be pumping. And we see here... Great moment for him in the national final. Good young setter. It's getting in. Got a good set out to the outside. Oh, and that'll be Connor's lot. Just coming on as a service there. So Reese perhaps not quite happy with how Polder was serving tonight. But he's back in now. And Wanting to steer his team through to victory here. Roy Ching to serve. Um, that looked like it uh, took a bounce off Giles's head. Yeah, he'll feel that one in the morning. Just really not working out for Nelson at the moment. The shown glue connection that's normally flawless just came unbuckled there a wee bit. So 17 10 now to Raiders. Great swing there from Black. Three man block from Harbour, but he still finds a way to get that ball away. Definitely a great swing. So 17 11. North Harbour up. Yeah, he looking for this first one to go over with a bit of heat. Good serve. Great pass on Tom Hartles. And a great side out from... Great side out Rob from Rob Tarte. Jeep is there some heat on that ball. Pat Schoen did his best to try and get something behind it, but it was just coming too fast. Not a lot you can do in that situation. Peterson's not done yet. Sending Harris's ball straight back to the floor. Big swing from Manai Harris, but Simon Peterson just towering over the top. It's quite a tight set, quite inside as well. Quite a difficult one to, to get away with. Ben Glue to serve. Uh, Rob, Rob Tarr just can't do anything wrong at the moment. He cannot. Finding the hole between 
shown and Peterson there. So Manaya Harris back to serve. Raiders up 19 to 12. And very nearly in the promised land. Uh, Harris sending that one long, so they'll have to work the points that they need. Pines have got a mountain ahead of them to climb. Giles to serve. Yeah, that one just overpassed a little bit, and again it's shown there. Ready to, ready and waiting to put that one away. There's not many teams in New Zealand that could bring this back, but definitely Nelson Pines are a team that could do it. So down five, 19-14. Uh, Rob, uh, how many times have we said that name tonight? He's um. He definitely would be happy with his performance tonight. A huge success rate percentage. He had been top scorer, I'd say, tonight. He's very rarely been stopped. Um, again, blocking of Harbour just shining through here. 21-14 to Harbour. Uh, Rob Carter sending that one long. It's still a six-point buffer. Simon Peterson to see. Let's see what Pines can do here. Oh, and oh, Lani just got something on that. So he's getting over. Great touch from Tom Hartles there. Just not enough for uh, someone to get behind it, get the ball up. But they'll take some positives away from it. They're getting touches on good swings from Nelson. Great ball in by Johan. Great swing from Timmer. Twenty-two sixteen now, so Raiders very close, but not there yet. And I'll know that. Great turn there from Maya'i. Going up one way and just twisting that shoulder slightly. Unlucky from Anaya Harris. It looked like he'd read it well. Got low. Always hard to stop the first wave attack though, isn't it, through the middle there? It is, it's so fast. The reaction time is barely anything. And again, Raiders just been able to side out here. 23-17. So North Harbour Raiders need two points for this national title. They must Maranga be feeling quite good about themselves at the moment. Oh, they'll be on top of the world, but as we said before, they're not there yet. Jump serve from Roy Ching. Great serve. That's a clutch serve to keep Pines in this one. And uh, Reese has seen enough. He said, let's just have a quick chat. Let's have a quick time out. Give the players a breather so they can get ready for, for another battle on the court. Great crowd in here tonight. Very vocal. Been treated to an excellent game of volleyball. Of the highest caliber in New Zealand. At no cost too. Where else would you rather be? 
at 6.20 on a Saturday night. So Roy Ching to serve. Can he bring them back in the game? Great serve, great serve. And that brings up match point. Who's going to be on the service line? Who else but Johan Timmer? The captain of this Harbour Raiders side. A slow clap started up around the arena here. Jubilation. It would be quite fitting for a nice serve here. Great swing. Oh, and, and it looks like the they've aerial. won it. And that's all she wrote, folks. That's a North Harbour Raiders 3 1 win, 25 19 in the fourth. Yes, that's right. Harbour Raiders are your 2018 New Zealand Club Championship men's gold medalist champions. Excellent game. It's been Jake Darling and Charlie Clegg with you here in commentary tonight. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll see you again next year. Good Thanks night. for watching. Cheers, guys.